Okay, I'm gonna make this tutorial to show how to bypass the digital signature um, thing that Vista has. Um, there's a few methods on how to do it before Service Pack 1, but ever since Service Pack 1 and a few other security updates came through, it's been uh, kind of hard with the methods they provide earlier. And I re just recently found another method I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Um, basically, I launched Peer Guardian or some application has an unverified, uh, unverified driver and it gives an error message similar to this. It can't load driver because, you know, can't verify the digital signature for this file and so forth and the file it's message uh, regarding to is pgfilter.sys system file so basically um, this isn't um, verified this is on a digital signature from Windows um, I read on the uh, Peer Guardian Phoenix Labs website and he basically said that they can't afford it because it costs like three hundred dollars or something for the drivers so basically we want to find a way to ver um, bypass this to get this verified so we can use the application and there's a program right here called this is actually the latest beta there's another release that's stable but this works as well Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, the driver signature enforcement overrider. I just came across this today, actually, and it works. Um, unlike many other previous methods, I'm I'll just uh, preface this. I am running on a 64-bit uh, operating system as well, so this does work on 64-bit. Uh, hit yes, so forth, and then you have a little uh, GUI window that appears for you here. And basically, all you want to do is you want to sign a system file, which would be the one that we we're getting the error error message with earlier. And if we open this back up, it would be the, uh, the PG filter SYS files. So we want to locate that. So we need to find a path for that. And we can easily do that by locating the install directory of the program we're having issues with, which would be right here. Actually, right now. There we go. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Anyways, so we go and uh, search for the Vista partition. Uh, it's in program files, peer guardian, and there's the file we're having issues with. And so basically, I can just right click, go to property, security, copy the direct path, and cancel, and input the path with the uh, file right there. And it said OK. And now we'll see a new message saying done. The system file has been signed. Suc successfully restart computer to apply changes. You'd, you should be able to load this file if test mode is enabled. So we can OK. And after that we also want to enable test mode and just hit next for that. It's going to ask for a reboot and from here we can basically load unverified uh, signed drivers and OK. Exit. Next. Done. And simple as that. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick reboot here and we'll sh I'll share the results afterwards. Okay, so we just did a reboot. Um, now you'll see in the corners here, it'll say test mode because we're in test mode right now. And basically, what that allows is for like developers and so forth to test unverified um, applications. So let's go ahead and uh, try to launch this. There's Pure Guardian, the one we initially had troubles with, but when we go to launch it, so let's give this error message because we haven't updated yet. Opening Pure Guardians, and bam, it's open, fully functioning, and so forth. Downloading updates for the list. But yeah, it passed that driver verification, so let's go ahead and let this finish. Do -do -do. Okay, close. And application is fully functioning. Mushroom hat bangers. Subscriber. Uh, uh, well, die.